What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So this fight was a jujitsu match with striking. That is 100% what it was. The first round, Damian Maya took uh, Gunnar Nelson down. This fight, this was a very, very high-level jujitsu round. A lot of scrambling, a lot of uh, movement, so much squirminess going on. Uh, Damian basically just had his way with Gunnar Nelson. Second round, Damian Maya takes Gunnar Nelson down. Starts landing little punches and nasty elbows. Third round, <laughs> Damian Maya takes Gunnar Nelson down. Do you see a pattern here? So either Gunnar Nelson has zero takedown defense, I literally mean zero, or he wants to get taken down and have a jiu-jitsu match, which isn't and wasn't going well for Gunnar Nelson. Gunnar Nelson got demolished, he got destroyed, he got outworked in every single position and every single way in the ground. Damian Maia just basically had his way with Gunnar Nelson. He could not finish Gunnar Nelson, though. The entire fight, Gunnar Nelson, all he did was just defend. Oh, and occasionally change positions. He did get on top a few times. Um, but Damian Maia had his back, full mount, everything. Uh, to Gunnar Nelson, I don't know what the hell happened to him, but pff, he sucked big time in this. But the most important and very interesting part about everything was Damian Maya's post-fight speech. And I always make these videos after the post-fight speech because I want to hear what these people have to say. Damian Maya called out the UFC for their rankings. He wants the winner of Robbie Lawler and Carlos Condit. He called those guys out. He wants the winner. And then Joe Rogan said, there's people that are ranked above you. What do you think of that? And he Damian Maia just went off on the rankings. He doesn't agree with them. He gave an example. I beat this guy, and then this guy lost to me, but then this guy ended up winning, and he's above me. How is this possible? And et cetera, et cetera. And he basically said that the UFC needs a more mathematical type of ranking system. Uh, I hate to break the news to Damian Maia, but this is the fight game, you know. Oh, and Joe Rogan agreed with him as well. Joe Rogan is very, very dumb. We all all know that. Um, Joe Rogan thinks of a lot of dumb shit. Uh, Damian Maia, this is what I was going to do. As you guys know, I mean, this is a fight game. A, a fucking KO win, an exciting win, a devastating win will put you ahead of, of a fucking run-of-the-mill jiu-jitsu performance three-round. Come on, everybody knows that. But... <laughs> But I mean, we already there's so many countless examples. If you have that type of style, hey, Kusumar Paharis, that guy has a jujitsu guy, but he's so fucking crazy and explosive. He, when he goes for a, a hold, he goes for it, hundred percent. But I mean, like it's Damian Maya, guys. You guys know Damian Maya. He's complaining about the rankings and people ahead of him, and I, I've beaten so many guys. He wants his title shot, but hey, fact is. The people that are the most exciting always get the nod for the title shots.